Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Walter Brown and Robert Byrne that was played in the United States Championship in 1977. The game started with d4. Black played f5 and we have Dutch defense. Knight to c3. Knight to f6. Bishop to g5. And black played d5. Bishop takes knight and black has a choice to take with g-pawn or with e-pawn. Taking with e-pawn is better. The reason is if g takes on f6 then e4 and queen may be coming to h5. So black captured with e-pawn. e3 bishop to e6 bishop to d3 g6. Perhaps Knight to c6 was better move, but uh, maybe black was Leningrad Dutch player and he preferred to have bishop on g7. Perhaps that's the reason. Now, queen to f3, c6, not only defending pawn on d5, but now queen can come to b6 or a5. Knight from g to e2, knight to d7. And it is white to move. And he came up with a very interesting plan. h3 preparing g4. Black also had a plan. He is now attacking pawn on b2. And how should white continue? What would you play? Would you play rook to b1? Maybe castling queenside or something else? Well, white played g4. He totally ignored the threat. That is aggressive and also a risky move. Black captured pawn on b2. Rook to b1 attacking queen. Queen to a3. Now white can immediately capture. But even better is taking pawn on f5. And black played bishop to f7. Of course, taking pawn on f5 is not helping black. We would have this continuation, perhaps rook to b3. And after queen to a5, rook takes on b7 and white is better. So in the game, bishop to f7. And now white captured pawn on b7. Bishop to b4, pinning knight. And how should white continue? Maybe king to d2. White castled kingside. And black castled queenside. Let's have a look what will happen if bishop takes knight. If bishop takes knight on c3, then rook to b3, and after queen takes pawn, knight takes on c3, and white is better. Okay, so in the game, black just castled, and now queen is sorry, king is attacking rook. Where should the rook go? Well, white just sacrificed the exchange. Queen takes rook, bishop to a6, and now you can see what is the problem in black's position. If king goes to b8, rook to b1 is winning queen. So king to c7, rook to b1 attacking queen, queen to d6, to obvious rook to b7 check, king to c8, and in this position white was searching for the best move. He played first rook to b3, but after king to c7, rook to b7, and White was searching again for the best move. He must... He surely was thinking about this move. That is winning queen. At the moment knight is attacking queen and pawn on a7. So pawn takes knight would be the best continuation for black. And now rook to b6. This is check. Rook is attacking queen. So after King to c7, rook takes queen, king takes rook, 
bishop takes pawn and white is better but perhaps white was not happy with that position he wanted even more from his position so he played e4 that is very good move but what is the purpose of this move well he is not only attacking pawn on d5 or threatening e5 now queen has access to the queen side well, black played a knight to b8, attacking the dangerous bishop. And now, knight to b5, attacking queen. Pawn takes knight. Queen to c3. Knight to c6. And it is white to move. If you wish, you can pause this video. And you can try to find the killer move that white played in this position what is the move have you seen this this is not a bad move but even better e5 and black collapsed well black played queen to c7 he could have captured pawn on e5 it would come to the same then perhaps so in the game after e5 queen to c7 as you can see rook can take queen but it looks like that white enjoyed his position tremendously he even didn't want to capture queen he played e6 and black resigned black is losing in all variations well let's just check one if queen takes rook white even will take queen he will take knight this is check queen is pinned so after king to b8 queen takes queen check mate so what did we learn in this game well, I believe that among other things, we learned that we should think twice, or maybe even three times, before capturing that poison pawn. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.